So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, we get to the next segment of the night where we see Drew McIntyre. He is walking backstage with Adam Pearce, and he's complaining about main event Jey Uso pretty much getting into his match and all that stuff, beating Finn Balor. And he says that that's the match that he was supposed to be in, and he could have won that match and pretty much go qualify and win the King of the Ring tournament. But uh, he says, like, why did you took me out of the match and all that? And Adam Pearce is like, well, you pretty much made public last week on Raw that you was injured, so I had to take you out of the match because you're injured. And McIntyre was not happy about that. He says that he's getting sick and tired of the show, and he pretty much gets into his car and leaves out. Well, as soon as he leaves out, CM Punk comes pulling up. And Punk comes pulling up, and he gets out the car, and he asks Adam Pearce, like, uh, where's Drew McIntyre at for tonight? And uh, pretty much uh, Adam Pearce says that he just left, and Punk was like, oh, damn, okay, whatever. And then he tells Adam Pearce, hey, can you cut my music on? And Pearce is like, sure. So Punk is walking backstage, and he's walking by, like, Chad Cable complaining at Alpha Academy at one point, and he tells him to chill out with that, and then he goes out to the ring. And uh, CM Punk has a few things to say, and he tells Pat McAfee to send a tweet out of a picture of him to Drew McIntyre at him and stuff like that uh, to pretty much get Drew to come back uh, if he can. So, yeah, that's what Punk says. And Punk has a few words to say. He's sending out a message to Drew McIntyre, and yeah, he was talking about how uh, that before he starts talking about Drew, he says that he was stuck in WWE headquarters for like two days, and he just finally got out there for a few hours ago, and he says that he heard that Raw is in Connecticut, so yeah, he had come through in Connecticut, so yeah, that's what he was saying there. But then he starts talking about Drew McIntyre, he was talking about how, uh, and with him, he got to have a recap and stuff, because he got injured at the Rumble, and he always thought that since he got injured, that his WrestleMania dreams is all over, but he says that it's not all over, it's just delayed. So yeah, that's what he says, and then he was talking about Drew McIntyre complaining and all that stuff, and he says that pretty much Drew got himself hurt and all that, so yeah, it's not his fault that Drew got hurt. So yeah, that's what Punk was saying there, and then Punk was talking about how he, uh, in baseball terms, he's a 501 tool, and that what that means is that pretty much pretty much he can do anything like he did commentary at wrestlemania and stuff and he says that drew mcintyre is just a tool so yeah that's what he says there and then he says that pretty much drew mcintyre is a lot like him and all that stuff in a way because he says that he he pretty much used like a kendrick lamar line really i i would not pretty much be able to say it word for word but he pretty much says that he hates every uh that drew hates everything about punk like hates the way he looks the, the way he walks and all that stuff and talks and he pretty much says that drew McIntyre pretty much hates everything about him but he does the same way same things as him so pretty much drew just hates himself so yeah that's what punk was saying there because you know punk will come out sit crisscross applesauce and drew would do the same thing and all that stuff so yeah that's what cm punk was talking about there and yeah uh pretty much cm punk says that drew just pretty much hates himself and yeah uh he says that you know drew looks like he ain't coming back now and that pretty much he's just going to keep on messing with them every chance that he gets because you know he done mess with the petty one of the most pettiest people on earth so he says he's going to keep on messing with them so yeah that's what cm punk says to uh well sending out a message to drew mcintyre there but yeah pretty good stuff but then after that we see jackie redman interviewing uh, Ricochet backstage about his match against Ilya Dragunov tonight and he, Ricochet was talking about how it's going to be great to face against him and all that stuff but then Braun Strowman comes up and they ask Braun Strowman a question about like why they went and dealt with uh, the Judgment Day last week and he says that he's getting sick and tired of bullies messing with other people so yeah that's what he was saying there and he says it was all great to see Ricochet and all that back so yeah that's what he says but yeah, up next it will be Io Sky versus Natalia in the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament. That matches up next. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Till then.